Today, we're going to be covering my goals as a data analyst in 2024. Uh, these goals are going to be ranging from launching my first ever app to running ultra marathons to improving my data skill sets. And after those, we're going to be covering some of the goals of community members here on the YouTube channel, Twitter, and Discord. But before we talk about these specific goals, let's talk about strategy. Now, anyone can go out here and say, this is my goal for 2024. But without a strategy or a game plan for hitting that certain goal, most likely it's not going to be achieved. And that's why systems are so important towards achieving that goal. I've read it a lot in different books, as well as when I listen to podcasts. And this is why for these goals, I'm going to be breaking down the systems that I have in place as well as some tangible goals that I think are possible for 2024. If I get close to this specific number or exceed it, I will be happy. All that matters is that these systems are in place. Now, the first goal of mine is gonna be scaling uh, the Ryan Nolan Data YouTube channel. Now, the way to do that, I wanna upload 125 videos. Now, if you think about a calendar year being 52 weeks, that's about two and a half videos for 50 weeks. Some weeks I'll upload two videos, some I'll upload three, and I think 125 is a good number. How are those 125 videos gonna be broken down? Well, one third of them I wanna have like talking videos like this, the other two thirds I wanna focus on coding. But those specific coding videos, I wanna focus on new subjects that I have yet to explore. One of them 100% has to be LLMs, something that I've been interested in and I'm trying to get this implemented within my division at work. Another is gonna be about AWS. So I've recently deployed my first application on an EC2 instance in AWS, and there's so much to explore, and I definitely can make a ton of YouTube videos as I gain knowledge there. With that being said, between the new series that I'm gonna be developing, as well as the 125 videos, the subscriber count that I wanna hit at the very end of this year is gonna be 20,000. Now, right now, I'm about at 3,000. I have to gain 17,000 or about 6X of what the channel is currently at, but I have a full year and we're able to scale to 3,000 in only six months. Talk about uh, data skills that I wanna learn in 2024. Now, in the earlier section, I talked about how AWS as well as LMs are gonna be playlists, so the assumption should be made, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time learning those. I wanna learn skills that I can apply at my full-time job, that way I can have real world experience with them. And a lot of the different skills that I learned last year, I was able to apply and build projects with. Skills like Streamlit, where I've been able to build out multiple data apps for my team. So expanding upon that, I know a lot of the different engineers at my company use DBT, as well as we have a Snowflake database. So I would do wanna learn at least the basics on that side of things. But I really wanna start diving down a little bit of like the cloud engineering or data engineering path. I feel like I'm lacking in that skill set, and there's so many ways that you could utilize that in a workplace, as well as like if you're gonna be building out projects or taking on freelance work. So I don't know specifically what tools or what content I'll be creating down that path as of yet, um, but it doesn't matter. I might be able to pick up stuff in six months or nine months and have a more clearer picture. I'm gonna let myself be exposed to new things. All right, another goal of mine in 2024 is to launch my first ever app and product. So this is actually gonna involve my second YouTube channel, which is Breakout Cards. I uh, collect cards, both sports and non-sports cards. You can see some of those over there. They kind of look like this. Uh, this is just an example of an early 1900s Edison. Um, but I've had a product in mind for a while and I've partnered with another data scientist and we've been building this out. There is gonna be some data engineering skills there. There's some data science skills associated with it, but also you learn a little bit about the marketing of a product and scaling that up as a side business. And I'm sure I'll be sharing a lot of the content here on the channel as this is gonna be built out over time. I can't talk too much about it until we move into beta or we start doing some promotional material but expect to see that around late Q1 or somewhere in Q2 uh, later this year. All right, so now let's talk about fitness goals. So what my top fitness goal for 2024 is to run a 100 mile ultra marathon. And if you aren't too familiar with ultra marathons, it's gonna be anything longer than marathon. So a marathon is 26 miles. A 100 mile or ultra marathon is like running four marathons back to back to back to back, right? Now, 
That will take me probably anywhere from 22 to 28 hours to run this, and it's a very, very tough race. Now, my history with ultra marathons, I've ran two 50 milers and I've ran a 100K. I've ran the 50K distance quite a lot, as well as multiple marathons. And uh, my first ultra marathon was back in 2020, but that was when I was in shape, right? Back then, I was about 170 pounds. Right now, I'm at 200 pounds. So I do want to get back into peak ultra shape. Although last year, I did run a very tough ultra marathon, still overweight. I think I was 205 or 210 pounds, where I ran 50 miles in the middle of Florida heat, 110 degrees uh, heat index, which was very, very tough, as well as multiple miles with knee deep water. Not to talk too much about that specific race. This year, I want to crush that 100 miler, uh, but that is going to be in November. So I do have quite a while to train. I do have a 50 miler coming up in February, which I'm going to be super excited for, uh, which will be a good pre-training race. And then I have the rest of the year to continue to get in shape. Also, I recently bought a power rack. So I've been building a home gym and there's a lot more workouts that I can do with that. I've completely switched from doing one body section each day into doing a push pull legs split. So I have five workouts every single week associated with those. And my goal is really just to get stronger there. I don't have any specific number goals with weights that I want to hit, especially since now I'll be able to deadlift, which I haven't even deadlifted since college or even doing bench presses with a full barbell instead of dumbbells. So maybe I'll have some more specific goals as the year goes by. Uh, but right now it's just to really get stronger in the gym as well as shed some fat. Now, a few other smaller goals. I didn't really put these in specific sections, but I do want to launch my own website this year uh, for this YouTube channel. I'm kind of at like the bottom of my priority bucket right now because I really want to produce videos and also work on the app. So once I have a little bit less work with this app and I have a good quantity of YouTube videos ready to go, I'll probably end up building out that website. And there's a lot of different use cases for website, whether to share more content on there or also to pick up some freelance customers, which I didn't want to talk about freelance customers this year. I don't think that's going to be a goal. Maybe we'll do that in 2025 uh, since I have so much going on. The other thing is I do want to get a little bit more active on socials. Uh, so I don't really post much content on Twitter and LinkedIn as of yet, but I have so much content from these YouTube videos that I can repurpose over there. So I definitely want to get that done. Now let's take a look at some of your goals. I asked on Twitter, YouTube, as well as our discord server. So on Twitter, Happy New Year, Ryan. I want to be a data scientist and my goal is to take actions consistently without taking breaks for months after doing a week. Consistency is important, right? And it doesn't just apply specifically to coding. It applies to other parts of life too, especially with like fitness. If you take a lot of time off every week, you're not going to see consistent gains at the gym or also with running. So uh, another one over here to land an intern role or a job in data analytics. That is a good goal that a lot of people have, especially trying to break into this field. Another one is a data analysis internship and then scale up to a data scientist. That is a little tougher. I, I don't think the approach should be data analysis as well as data science in one specific year. I think the best approach is to move into data analytics and then be there for a year or two years and then start looking at transitioning into a data science role if you want to go that route or if you want to transition into data engineering. And maybe I'll cover that in another video. Um, another one over here, I'm trying to currently learn more about model deployment and machine learning. Uh, model deployment is something I definitely want to take a look at a little bit more as well, because I feel that skill set is lacking. Now, on YouTube, we have a few different comments over here. So transfer from music marketing it to data analyst. And then, hey, Ryan, I'm assuming this year I want to look at the prioritization of machine learning models and we'll try to learn probability and stats more. And thank you for the content. So. Another one over here with machine deploying machine learning models. And lastly, if we jump into our Discord server, which by the way, if you're not in their Discord server, make sure to join that. So I hope to build more dashboards, probably one per week and dive into SQL tools, T-SQL and others don't really know much about them, but saw it in a job description. So Zoom trying to get your first data analytics job. So we can better analyzing or manipulating data using Python libraries such as Pandas, such an important skill set. I, I think that's great to learn, especially like right after you have the basics of Excel and also SQL down. I wish I started learning Python a little bit earlier. Uh, another one over here is to make some really interesting projects and actually deploy it into production, which that's been a common theme. A lot of people either want to move into data analytics 
or move into producing better models and projects and deploying them, right? I'm making projects at small scale, but I'm not deploying into production. I think it'll dive deeper into visual analytics, Power BI, DAX, and everything like that. We'll talk a little bit more about pandas over here. And then uh, someone's finishing their master program. And I talk a little bit about mine, which you guys saw in this video. So that's it for data analytics goals in 2024. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to check out some other videos because I am posting at least two to three videos every single week this year and we're going to scale.